Hey everybody, this is Mike with On Point Preparedness. Just wanted to do a real quick video on this news article that popped into my feed, and it's regarding this painting called the Salvador Mundi, otherwise known as Savior of the World. It's a painting by Leonardo da Vinci, and it's being heralded as one of the biggest artistic discoveries of the 21st century. Leonardo da Vinci had a painting career that only lasted for about half a century, of which he created about 20 paintings. 15 of those um, are thought to be the only ones surviving up until today. And this one was hidden in private hands up until recently. And so it was just disclosed to the public. And so people are treating this as a brand new painting of Leonardo da Vinci. And uh, it's a big deal. They're basically toting this painting all around the world. You can see here it's going to be exhibited in locations all around the world. And um, there's a lot of things going wrong here. Um, most of you who have an eye to see can pick up immediately. But I just want to go through a couple things here. Because with the fact that they're making this to be a big deal, one of the biggest artistic discoveries of the 21st century, I find the timing to be interesting. And then also the fact that they're you know exhibiting it in locations all around the world. The first thing that comes to mind is like the Ark of Baal, where they started toting that all around the world. Um, this is like ceremonial uh, rituals going on here. And this painting is no different, and I'll tell you why. For one, if we look at this picture a little bit closer, um, you can see it here. You can see that the painting of Christ, and a lot of paintings of Christ from that era, um, seem to adopt a very androgynous type of form or figure. Uh, you have the blending of the male and female, so very feminine features with the face combined with some male features. Um, you also have the long hair, which the Bible also talks about as not being suitable for a man, but again, blending the male and female together. This is very similar to essentially what Baphomet is. It's the combination of the male and female. This is also what we're seeing today in today's society. Also, the two-hand salute, the as above, so below, is something that I've talked about in other videos, which you can see prominently in this painting of Christ. And you can also see that in some of the earlier popes where they are giving the sign of benediction. Um, it, is, it is essentially the as above, so below hand gesture. Um, so androgyny going on here, the as above, so below hand symbol going on here. And then this is just completely blasphemous. It is Christ holding a crystal ball. So just a very cursory look at the crystal ball. I just did some Wikipedia on it. And its origins are attributed to the Celtic Druids who used it for future telling. I mean, there's really no question about that. We know, look into your crystal ball, look into the future. Um, this practice, I thought it was pretty interesting that it started in first century AD. And this Pliny the Elder describes the use of crystal balls by soothsayers or fortune tellers um, in the Roman Empire. And if we go to Deuteronomy chapter 18, verse 9 through 12, it says, There should not be found among you anyone who practices divination or tells fortunes or interprets omens or a sorcerer or charmer or medium or necromancer or anyone who inquires of the dead. For whoever does these things is an abomination to the Lord. So I think this is pretty crazy. The, again, the timing. Uh, just with everything going on around the world today, you have this huge, huge, um, uh, what do you want to call it, discovery of the 21st century uh, being one of Leonardo da Vinci's hidden paintings that's now going to be toted all around the world. And it really couldn't be any more idolatrous with the androgyny figure, the as above, so below hand gesture, the fortune telling crystal ball. Again, these are the false Christs that are essentially rising in this time. Um, you really got to stay fortified, church. Uh, you got to put on the full armor, you know, and um, not trying to genericize that statement. I mean, just so much going on right now in terms of wars, rumors of wars, uh, just the natural disasters, and then all the false religions and all these all these signs and symbols going on. 
Anywho, I hope you're all having a good weekend. This is Mike with On Point Preparedness. I'll see you guys later.